So joining me now are Cyber Reason CEO Lior Div and former Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin. Gentlemen, thanks so much for being here. Lior, let's start with you. It's your company after all. Congratulations. This is a big day for you. What are you going to do with all this money? First, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a very, very excited uh, time for us. Um, we're we're going to accelerate our growth. Right now, what we see, it's a kind of massive pressure on companies when it's come to ransomware. And I think that we talked about it many times by now. Uh, hackers, specifically from Russia, become very, very aggressive, and companies need to find a way to protect themselves. We develop a, a platform, an AI-based platform, that can enable private organizations to protect themselves. And the next thing for us is to keep growing like we're growing right now in a hyper growth. So when you look at this $275 million, I mean, that's a lot of money. Is this your last round of financing, you think, before an IPO? Is that where this company is headed? Yeah, th this is the crossover round. Uh, the natural thing for companies uh, is to raise money, uh, keep growing in a very aggressive manner, and usually, naturally, the next step is to go public. Do you have a timeline for that? Uh, we don't have a timeline right now to disclose. Mr. Secretary, let me bring you in and see if I can get that timeline out of you, maybe not out of Lior, uh, in terms of that IPO that investors might be wanting to watch for. First of all, this is a big investment for you and for Liberty, your new entity. Why this company and why this sector for this big chunk of money? Well, we're very excited about participating and leading this round. When I was Treasury Secretary, I was very focused on the cyber risks. I was responsible for protecting the entire financial services industry and also for the IRS. So th this has been something I've been focusing on for a long period of time and is a major focus of our new business. And we, we really like this company. It's best in class technology. It's got a global footprint and it's got a great management team. You don't put $200 million into a company unless you think you're going to get some return out of that. So can you give us some insight on that timeline that Lior was sort of dodging a little bit in terms of the IPO? Is that something, is that a 2021 thing or is that in the out years here? Well, I can just tell you from, from my perspective, the focus on the company is really now to use the capital that we've put in and others have put in to grow the business. And I think over the next six months, they can grow the business very, very significantly. From our standpoint, this is a long-term investment, so it's something we'll hold for a very long time, whether the company is public or private. So I'm, I'm pretty indifferent when they do the IPO. We'll, we'll do it at the right time. But the focus right now is to use the capital, grow the business, and, and focus on the customers. Now, you talked about your time as Treasury Secretary focusing on cybersecurity. With all this ransomware that we've seen and the in intense activity on the part of Russian linked hackers, I wonder what you can tell us about the financial sector broadly and the banks specifically in terms of their protections uh, in cybersecurity. Are they doing enough? Is the U.S. financial system secure based on what you know from your time in the building? Um, I believe this is one of the few sectors that has been ahead of the curve and really started spending money early on. And this is a sector we've worked with very closely at Treasury and, and all the regulators. So I think the banking sector is in very good shape. Having said that, you know, there, there's always new risks and we'll be working with many of the banks. Some of them have deployed the software. Others will encourage them to do. This is an area that people need to continue to invest in. And from, from my standpoint, uh, technology to support national security is one of our biggest priorities. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.